All you need for this is an empty water bottle. Then you twist the water bottle, which compresses the air and pushes all the molecules together. And then when you open it, it releases the pressure and the molecules expand, creating an insta cloud. Pretty cool, huh? All you need for this is some empty cans, a bowl of ice water, and some tongs, and of course a stove, because that's where you're going to heat the cans. So you, what you do is you fill the cans up with just a little bit of water, and then you heat it on the stove, and then once it's hot enough, you can tip it over um, to put it in the ice water, and it will implode on itself. What you need for this is vinegar, a raw egg, and a cup. Then you just put the egg in the cup carefully and fill it with vinegar to cover the egg completely. And then you let it sit for 24 hours. And after the 24 hours has passed, you can take your egg out and you'll notice the shell will just kind of rub off. And what I did was I just went and ran it under some water. And there you have a bouncy egg. Now what it really is, is the membrane of the egg. You can also shine a light on it for some cool effects. And just to show you that it is a raw egg, And then there's the membrane. Okay, so what you'll need is some grape juice, baking soda, paper, we use cards, a bowl, and some Q-tips. And then I took a third cup of baking soda and a third cup of water and mixed that together. And then we drew our secret messages on our cards. And then you can have your friends paint with grape juice to reveal the secret message. This happens because the juice is acidic and the baking soda is a base. What you'll need to make this is a hot glue gun, a cap with a hole drilled in it, an old CD, and a balloon. So hot glue your cap with the hole drilled in it onto your CD, and then blow up your balloon, and I twist it so the air doesn't just immediately come out, and then put it on your hovercraft, and there you have it. The air greatly reduces the friction of the CD on the table. So you can make a really fun game out of it, kind of like air hockey. What you need for this is a PVC pipe or a balloon will work just as well. And then you charge your pipe or balloon up by rubbing it in your hair or on your shirt. And then put it by the water. To make balloon racers, you need a straw, a balloon, and some ribbon. We use Christmas ribbon. And then you just feed your ribbon through the straw, blow up your balloon, and tape your balloon to the straw. And then tie off your string. We tied it to our door and then to a bottom, the bottom of a chair. And then just go. blow it up and let go.
Gallium looks like this when you purchase it. And then all you need to do is grab a bowl of hot water and put the gallium in it because it will melt faster. And then you can wear gloves if you want because it can get messy, but it's not necessary because it's completely non-toxic. Non gallium is one of the coolest things ever, I think. Um, it has a melting point of only 29 degrees Celsius or 85 degrees Fahrenheit, so it melts in your hand. And it's a metal. It's like a liquid metal. It's really, really interesting. And like I said, it is safe and non-toxic, although I would not let young children play with it unattended. Another really interesting thing is it expands as it cools, like water. And you can see here, it formed crystals as it cooled. That's why you can't store it in glass jars. So this is really easy. All you need is baking soda and vinegar and a sandwich bag. And then you put the baking soda and vinegar together in the sandwich bag and wait for it to explode. We did this in our sink and while it didn't make a huge mess, I wouldn't do this in my living room. So all you need for this is baking soda, vinegar, a empty bottle, and a balloon. And then get a helper to help you put some baking soda in your balloon. One person can kind of hold it open and the other person can spoon in some baking soda. Put some vinegar inside of your empty bottle. and stretch your balloon over top of the bottle. And when you're ready, you can dump the baking soda into the vinegar and it will create a chemical reaction which will fill up the balloon. You can also try it with a glove, which is really cool. One note about the glove, be prepared for a mess. It doesn't always come out the way it's supposed to. <laughs> if you tried any of these experiments, I would love to hear about it. Let me know. <laughs>